Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 4. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos later this year. Okay, so Episode 3 aired last night. It was a great episode. Obviously, there was lots of shocks and twists and turns. That definitely surprised a lot of you guys. I know that because you guys have been commenting under my review last night and people are especially surprised that Jonathan was given powers. We're going to talk about Jonathan having powers in this episode. That's something that we speculated about for a while now and it turned out to be true. It's the final season, kind of makes sense, but it's a little bit rushed. However, I think they would have done it at a later point if there was like seven seasons of Superman Lois, but the simple fact is this is the final season. They definitely have to hit the points they want to hit, and this is clearly one of the ones that they really wanted to do. And so let's talk about episode four. So right now, episode four is untitled. We don't know the exact title, so that will probably be released in next week, just before the episode comes out next Monday. Also, we don't have a synopsis for this episode, so we don't know really what's going on. We only have the trailer that we're going to be breaking down, so I don't have like too much context. So a lot of this video is going to be speculation about what could be happening apart from you know, just the shots that we're seeing in this trailer. But as always, you can check out the trailer in the description down below, there's a link there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. So the trailer begins with a dog tag. Now this is General Lane's dog tag because he died last episode. That was one of the major shocks as well. Did you guys see it coming or not? Obviously that was a speculation that people are going into these episodes. And obviously they had the little twist with the full circle narrative where they return to them actually paying respects to General Lane and Lois's father and obviously the boys' granddad in the ground and this is just a shot of Lois clutching at her father's dog tag. Obviously he's very military orientated so it makes sense that they would put that with the coffin or the tombstone that is just outside the family farm. Now we're going to get more scenes here because we're going to continue off from here in episode 4 and we got this shot of Jordan. Now Jordan is talking to Lois and he says this, Dad died because of me, Grandpa died because of me, I keep letting you down. And so Lois replies to this saying this was all Luther. and Luther, everywhere he goes he leaves a trail of bodies. So let's break this down in terms of Jordan first. So Jordan obviously feeling terrible about everything and you know he's probably feeling a bit less important now now that Jonathan has powers after last episode and he obviously made the mistake of being very driven and going after Lex and seeing Lex stamping on what is Superman's supposed heart. We can presume it's his heart, if not maybe Lex is keeping it for an experiment later down the line and so obviously if you're in the shoes of Jordan you would blame yourself as well and obviously their granddad died as well because they weren't able to protect him on time and he sacrificed himself so he really really is in a bad state right now and I think he's going to need Jonathan to step up and he's going to need Lois and all of his friends to really comfort him in this time because this is not a good time for him so I think the return of Superman will be the turning point for him in this season because right now yeah he's not in a good state but you see this shot next up of Lois and that's why she's saying all of this and so she blames it on Luther rather than putting blame on their individual actions obviously he did make mistakes himself but really at the end of the day this is all Lex is doing because he's planned this all he's gone after Superman he's also gone after their granddad and he is trying to get under Jordan's skin as you saw in last episode and so everywhere Luther goes he leaves a trail of bodies and I think this is significant because you are starting to see these bodies rack up and I think Lois is going to use this eventually for her reporting and for her investigations to try and actually get him locked up once again and I think she will be successful this season. I don't know how long it's going to take. It's probably going to be up until like episode 9 and then maybe she finally gets the final piece of information that she needs to actually put him away once and for all and just make sure he stays there for the rest of his life because he is a threat to the rest of the world. Okay, so in the next shot we've got 
this CW logo just in the middle of like a burning building. It looks like maybe a shop or a shopping mall or something like that. And I guess something's happening here, like maybe there is a fight up in the air and maybe it's like Doomsday crashing down or it could be one of the boys obviously now that they both got powers. But let's move on to the next shot. So we've got this board and this is probably in the Gazette. I think they're doing investigations into Lex and obviously everyone that's working for Lex. You've got Gretchen who is right in the center there. Also you've got Otis. And so they know the names of these people and they're going to be using that to their advantage. Well, I'm specifically talking about Lois and probably Chrissy when Chrissy comes back to the show. We haven't seen her yet this season, but they're going to be heavy in investigation trying to actually pin this all on Lex once again. But if you look at everything, you can see these are old newspaper clippings and some property reports and some photos from like the ID of Gretchen, for instance, and a younger looking Alexander Luther. Obviously, that's Lex Luther himself. And you got Otis Grisham. So potentially they could go through Lex's companions to try and get something on them if they're able to capture them anytime in the next couple of episodes. So the next shot is of General Lane's headstone. This is gonna be at the start of the episode and it's a slightly different shot as they have that conversation between Jordan and Lois and presumably Jonathan as well. But moving on to something new and in a very different setting and this could be that burning building because you got Gretchen who is in what looks like a burning building. So the colors are just all yellow and orange and it's really strong in terms of the vividness of the color. So you can know for sure, yeah, she's in the middle of a fire. It looks like she's sweating. It looks like she's crying and she is in distress here. So I think somehow whatever's going on here, they got through to Gretchen. Now Gretchen says, and I think this is what she says. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a little bit muffled but he's trying to kill me. So has Lex turned on one of his minions? Because out of all of them, Gretchen has shown the most humanity despite working under Lex. She's shown a little bit of humanity and I think Lex wouldn't hesitate to kill her if she did something wrong, if she betrayed him, which obviously he would not take very lightly. And so talking about fire, we got this final shot of the trailer, it's of Jonathan. So I do believe that Jonathan will be using his powers in this episode once again, because they really got to go in on this. And we know that Jonathan potentially is still working with the DoD, not sure what the status is on that now that General Lane is not around anymore. But he is in the middle of this fire and he has been knocked to the ground seemingly. So I don't know who he is facing off. It could potentially be Doomsday, it could be one of Lex's minions, maybe using Kryptonite, obviously you can't see this in this shot, so it really could be anyone that he's facing off against, but he's definitely not in control of this situation, and so I do believe he's here with Gretchen, I don't know why specifically, but it seems he is in trouble, but nevertheless it's going to be really exciting to see Jonathan using his powers once again. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the trailer breakdown, I've got one more thing I wanted to talk about, and this is in regards to a Krypton site article to do with the executive producers, the showrunners discussing Jonathan's big change. I thought I'd include this at the end of the video just because it links to the final shot of Jonathan. And so they say, we thought it was kind of an interesting paradox. He's been a kid without them for so long and he's been looking through the looking glass at his brother, especially at a point where things were sour to let a kid that really wanted this thing finally get the Corvette and be able to take it out of the garage was a joy for us to talk about. We thought it would be fun on screen and then we talked about it forward for the season. There are some interesting stories that come with it. We think it brings a new dynamic to that brother relationship which we are always interested in exploring. And I completely agree with them. It's definitely going to bring a new dynamic to their relationship. And as people have been speculating about, you know, after the death of Superman, they normally do the reign of the Superman, which is various versions of Superman. So like copycats or people like Steel and the Eradicator. So could they be doing that? But with Jordan, Jonathan, Natalie, and also John Henry Irons, is that their version of that iconic story? So that's what they had to say. Now, Todd Helbing has stressed that even with powers, 
the dynamic between Jonathan and his brother won't completely change. She says they're still brothers, they still have these differences in what they can and can't do. Obviously, Jordan is a bit more advanced. However, normally physically, Jonathan has been the one that is a bit more advanced. And so we just wanted to take that idea and explore it to the next level. So you're going to see Jonathan exploring his newfound ability and Jordan trying to figure out how he fits into this dynamic. And unfortunately, this change will make Jordan feel less than for the first time in a while. We saw that at the end of episode three and he was unsuccessful against Lex. His brother has powers and he's heard about his mother's choice when picking one son to save. And he goes on to say it hasn't been a good run for him. And then to see his twin brother on the up is an interesting place to put somebody. And we felt like it was going to be a good terrain to explore. Krypton Sai also adds that comic book fans will be very happy with the trajectory of where Jonathan is going with his powers. So I think this is all very insightful in terms of what's going to happen with Jonathan and his powers and his relationship to Jordan. We know it's going to be a struggle for Jordan at the start, but I think by the end of the season, especially with the return of Superman, they're going to be able to be guided by their father once again, now that they both have powers. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would really help this video get out there. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.